continue with this. Okay. Well, we still have a bunch more turns. Unless we think that and it ends it early. I don't know. They're really pushing that counterattack, so we'll see what we can do with that. But first, see if we can put this on the bottom of the harbor. Uh oh, nope, that didn't happen. Okay. And that. Well, that wasn't all that useful either. Okay. Now that we're being faced with a bit of a counterattack. We're going to follow them back. Well, these guys we're going to reinforce. This will move that up. All them air cover. All right, but we still have you. Let's see if we can move you up to this Air Force base, you a little closer. Very good, guys. Very good. Man, those L33s are taking a pounding. All right, well, again, let's stay focused on our objective. Sink the battleship. Okay, bonus objective, sink the Jami the first, completed, earned commendation points, right. Well, let's see about taking out a few of the other ships. Well, good. We also took out a light cruiser. Um, there it is, just under the name. Very good.
You can fire and suppress that. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, we want to do as much replacement as we can. Don't know if I should enter the city again. I think it's a bit dangerous. They've fired, they've fired. They have not fired. Let's do these guys a favor and let it even suppress it. All right, that's looking fairly good. Let's also move you up to this air base. And you up to this air base. Oh, no. No, no. Um, okay, you're just all full there. Okay, well, that's fine. We're not facing too much other air attacks. Right, okay. Well, those are, Italians are having a hard time with it, aren't they? Well. Good, they withdrew. That's very nice. That means we get to strafe them again. Artillery pieces. Good. Very good. Very, very good. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, anti-aircraft gun. No, we'll, no, we'll not do that. Let's just go after these guys. Keep the pressure on. We'll suppress these guys a bit in the bunker. Keep their heads down. Okay. 
Okay, that does well for the guys who didn't attack. All right. I have those CV taking bad damage up there. Well, but you moved away from the AA again far enough. We'll attack you. After this artillery piece, and we have the armored car there. This, well, there may be an AA gun. Yeah, I thought we had one. Very good, but not an overrun. Oh well. Nope, no AA gun there. So then let's bring this guy up. I just often expect air bases to have AA guns covering them. You shoot at the minefield. Well, didn't quite take it out, but no damage, so that's pretty decent. Okay, so we pushed up to there. Not that. Just checking reinforcements here. The Germany was, well, constantly might be overstating it, but sending in reinforcements, um, various, like they started out with the Panzer 1As, they later sent some Panzer 1Bs, whether it's replacements or just simply additional forces, I'm not absolutely sure, because I just don't know the strength returns of the vehicles. Mm, you know, famously, they brought in the flak 88s as part of the um aa contingent and i think those were german uh operated and of course they are the first known use at least known by me of the flak 88s as an anti-tank weapon and you can see here that if you're using Panzer 1s that have machine guns, even if they have special ammo that is designed to penetrate standard Soviet armors, most of the T-26s, at 500 or less um, meters, that you, um, you know, the enemy can just sort of like hang out. 600 or 550 meters away and not get penetrated my understanding is the soviets figured this out at some point so they were um doing just that trying to stay out of close engagement ranges with their tanks They very well may have worked. 
to some degree. And so I think they did send some anti-tank guns. I'm not sure. Um, but they brought up and used, I think, I think again, operated by the German, or at least partially operated by German uh, crews. Because officially, just to let everyone know, whenever asked, especially dealing with the tanks, um, whenever the, you know, Kampf Group 88 asked Berlin for permission to have Germans driving the tanks in combat, they were always told no. We know at least one German officer died driving or riding in a Panzer I due to enemy action. So they were doing it. Was this widespread general? Hey, Harry. Uh, or was it, you know, sort of a platoon commander kind of thing with Spanish, mostly Spanish um, tank operators? I, I don't know, and I don't know if we have good records or even good, I don't know, biographies or something. Don't make, I like the concept of fighting the Spanish Civil War, but I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't really have any major effect, does it? The Spanish Civil War. Mm. Oh, it has a massive effect. Okay, um, let's talk about this for just a minute here. We're sort of winding this down. Um, and I don't know if we're going to, we can maybe start a next um, episode. But um, had the Republicans won, in my opinion, you would have had the, um, it would have become a Soviet puppet. The, the Soviets were very, very much working towards controlling the, the factions on their side within the Civil War. So you would have had a Soviet puppet sitting in, um, Madrid, outflanking the Germans. The Germans, when invading the Soviet Union, would have needed to um, planned an invasion of Spain at that time, because certainly Republican Spain control whether it's called People's Republic of Spain or just not no name change, but something that's a Soviet puppet especially a Stalinistic Soviet puppet, which is what it would have been, um, would have come into the war uh, shortly after Germany declaring war on the Soviet Union. And then, of course, the British, which were already at war with Germany, would have supported at minimum, but that's just minimum, supported it with um, their version of Lend-Lease but very likely send in uh, ground forces and air forces to fight in Spain. You know, of course, they have Gibraltar there. And so you would have opened up a second front that would have been on the Pyrenees. Spain is a fairly mountainous country, especially compared to, say, like France or the Low Countries. It's a rather mountainous country. You can look at, say, Italy is probably equally mountainous. Germany, yeah, in parts, you know, down, you know, the Alps, but... Most of Germany isn't mountainous, not in the way Spain or Italy is. Sure, certainly they have hills and things named mountain. I would have loved it if it was two prong campaign like this, maybe able to play the Soviet volunteer court. I mean, if the Republicans won, it would have been different, but you can only support nationalists. Well, you. Yes and no. It, this is a um, sort of three-sided situation here. German, nationalist, Republican. Now, we do have Italian um, allies as part of the German faction here, and they have infantry. Um, they, you know, have 10 factors. We sort of get some bonus factors with some extra air for, for Germany here. Germany does not have... Um, infantry units directly themselves and so very limited Italian support. So an artillery and anti-tank guns, anti-aircraft guns and aircraft, basically almost everything except infantry directly but somewhat directly with the Italian infantry. So it's, you know, it's um, an effective thing and it sort of shows in my opinion and I think correctly that Germany wasn't, to my, the best of my knowledge, at any time ever commanding any major campaigns in 
Spain. I am. My understanding is is that they there were German advisors in the room, advising them on tactics, strategy, whatnot. But instead of say, and this is I think is for the best, because if you you plan things, I'm taking a lot of this quite honestly from my knowledge of the Peninsula War during the Napoleonic War and de the British dealing with the the Spanish forces there, both regulars and irregulars, translating that to um, Spain in the 1930s here for this. But if you were to say have Germans planning an attack, planning an operation, and expecting the Spanish to carry it out in the way that they, that the Germans would have done so, would have probably met with a lot of disasters because they wouldn't have shown up or they wouldn't have attacked as vigorously or whatever. But by having the Germans support the Spanish, talking more in real life, um, the Germans move up to the start line, the pan, the Panzer ones or whatever, and then wait for the Spanish to start their attack. And then once they do, then they move up in support. Uh, there, to the, there were definitely armor thrusts there were definitely armored thrust with, I don't know how much coordinated air, but as opposed to just general air operating. And there were definitely armored thrust with some um, artillery support and that type of thing. But I wouldn't really call it Blitzkrieg War. It's more support tank kind of operations. Um, so it fits. It fits. Not quite sure why the AI is attacking that. Here I sort of get that they're coming, want to push down into here to deal with the... Protect the ships, but we've already taken out their battleship. Or their, what, heavy cruiser, or whatever that was. I think it was a battleship. The Jami, the one... Hey, thanks for our Oaken Shield. Okay. If you guys haven't already, anyone out there, please follow the channel. We really do appreciate it. There are many great streamers here on the channel. Okay. Um, well, I don't know if we want to bother with bombing that anymore. You know, I'm mostly just going to fall, uh, fall back here. Yeah, it's just not overly useful to to push very hard. But we can continue to do some damage to them. Yeah, I'm just not going to put my air into there very much. Let's see there. So... See what they do this turn. Okay. And to Clara, I'm sure I am mispronouncing that. Historically, the Condor Legion raid on, excuse me, Malaga 
only damage the Jami the first, the battleship would go on to survive additional bombing attacks before finally being lost to catastrophic internal fires and explosion. Although the fires were thought to have been accidental, some suspect it was sabotage. Okay, so that just I'm I really appreciate how they're doing, giving you the the historical um, uh, elements of the campaign that we've just fought. Condor, yes, Nice words there. Okay, you know what we're going to do here is let's go through this. Um, so I've played through this campaign. for the live stream. Um, yes, we're going to authorize that. Okay, lightning attack. Good. Let's save this quickly here. Save. Um, okay. Let's come to load. See if we come down. This is... Yeah, let's come to here. This was the playthrough. This is, they gave me the save for the live stream. Um, uh, live stream, they gave me the save starting to this. So this is slightly different. So instead of repeating ourselves, I know many of you watched that. Let's come to this and see how we're doing. Okay, so this is where we were then. Now, um, we will continue because we got about 15 minutes here. But before we go on, I'm just going to quickly post links to my YouTube channel if you want to get, um, want to see that live stream, the, or, um, the video of that is there. And if you also want, there's a link to my Twitch page if you want to follow me on Twitch so that um, you can catch more live streams. Okay, so here we are. We are again still supporting the the Spanish. Um, I am not going to try to take so much uh, batter hose over here as a um, secondary objective. We are pushing mostly on Merida and up in through here trying to push up to Cacaceres or however you pronounce that correctly which I do not know um, obviously how to pronounce it correctly so let's continue with this and quite honestly I'm not sure okay a bunch of I think we did stop at the end of their turn Okay, um, we'll move the anti tank guns up. They fell back nice. Again, I did this attack this way, one so that, or primarily so that this armored car would get the mass attack bonus from the tank, but the tank would also, even though it's already fired, is getting a reconnaissance bonus from the armored car. So it's sort of, um, which if you did it the other way around, if the armored car attacked, it would not get the mass attack bonus if done secondarily now um we've got to try to clear the skies of 
These Spanish fighters. Uh, not wrong. There we go. Let's get the right one. So mass attack. They're going to come in first. And do what we can to take them down. You know, my AA is way over here, but it's protecting these guns. Now they could use... We have a lot more reinforcement points because of using their save. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let me come over and get you. Fall back a bit. But we are still and we can watch some of our allies get chewed up over there. So we're still worried a bit about that. Um, concentrated all of air there. So let's... Uh, well, our fighters, I should say. On them a bit. What is in range? Are we can... That is... I don't think... Again, I think we're, we're dealing with too small of an airbase there. So let's... Let's, I guess, move them to here. It'd be a little better. Getting up to the front, though, of course, they may sweep down now that they are... Looks like they're punishing there. So... Some of their some of the allied forces are in good shape, some are not so good. This was the Italian sort of front down here that wasn't going so well. Let's just do regular reinforcements. And Spain, I did look this up, did you, uh, at least had a few, I don't know how many, meaning I saw one flamethrower um, version of the, I normally call it the CV-33, was one of the names for this, but the L-333, um, they did use at least some of those in Spain during the Spanish Civil War, so um, that is actually quite historical, it was something I felt I needed to look up. Um, yeah, maybe come down here. I don't like being flanked. Don't want my supply sources cut off. Um, well, yeah, maybe they should have done a bombing raid over there. Okay. Let's look. Okay, they are pushing over there. Good job, guys. Good job. Getting after the end of the artillery. Very good. They're bombing my airbase. Wow, they took that. Again, um, I know many of you already know this, but circles are supply points. And um, hexes are um, what victory hexes. Now sometimes they'll have both a circle and a victory hex. 
So they're overrun and they're going to come up and attack over there. Just what we wanted, right? Not, but yeah. Okay, well, we're still worried about what's going on down here. Okay. They've fallen in our trap. And we are going to... Maybe do what we should have done before, but... Bombarded that. We're not going to move them into there. Oh, what? No. You, uh, you're, no, you're out of... No, you can't be out of range. Yes, you are. Oh, boy. Just what I didn't want. Okay, well... Oh, no, 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 no. You undo it. So I meant just to click it. Okay, very good, you get to retreat, you come up to here, you reinforce, okay, oh well they, that's, yeah, we'll see, we may have more useful uses for it. And also you see the, the bright, pretty colors here. You can um, come down to camouflage here. Oh, what, what's loading in, I think. Don't crash, don't crash. Um, uh, no, okay, go back. To, okay, yeah, this is what I wanted to show. You have all these um, options for camouflaging your vehicles. Just so that you know. So if you want to, whether it's an elite, uh, a particular tank unit that you want to remember or whatever as being elite, you can um, use one of the, the special camos for it to distinguish it from others. And not that it makes it elite other than, say, maybe always using um, elite reinforcements to it. Um, this would be the more default German for the period. Um, kind of thing that's the one that currently is so you have all of that type of customization within the game uh, to use as you would like and it's both good and bad because sometimes I'm sort of losing some units um, because we camouflage and you don't see them maybe as well but like I say, you also get the idea that knowing what's going on a bit better at times. Suppressing that there. Okay, well. Resecuring that supply point is a good thing for sure. Let's bring up our fighters again. Okay, we're going to start with them. And grind them down a bit. Well, I'll give it a bigger area, but still. Hit, fall back, come up, attack. 
Call back. You guys come up. Maybe take them out. I don't know. I'll push them back. And unfortunately next to an anti-tank gun. Okay, so this continues to give you an idea. We still have plenty more turns here, but we're running out of time. So I definitely wanted to um, continue from here. So we'll save this. And I want to thank you all for um, watching. We really do appreciate it. Um, hope I've made this an interesting stream. I'm not sure when we'll be back um, for more, uh, but sometime there will be. And like I say, you can follow me over on YouTube or well, subscribe on YouTube and follow me over on Twitch as well. Really do appreciate all that. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, see you next time.